began asymptomatic testing. Several student organizations at FTCU organized. And we're going to play Guess the Song. Hello. Welcome to Hanging with the Executives here at the Bower School of Music. And you're watching Ian TV. Hi, guys, and welcome back to Hard Hitters. I'm your host, Sarah Mankiewicz, and today I'm joined with Ian Lynch. Jake and we're going to jump right into it. This past week, we had eight NFL teams playing for that coveted Super Bowl win, and now we're down to just four. But let's go back to last week's. We've got the Bucks versus the Saints. Now, the Bucks were able to take it 30 to 20. It was a pretty close game until an interception was thrown in the fourth, and it kind of put the Buccaneers ahead of the game. But Brady's looking fantastic. He's proving that he's still there. He's not an old man. And we've actually got Brady and Gronk looking towards another year with the Buccaneers. And on the other note, we have Drew Brees, who just is out of the game and possibly out of the game forever with a possible retirement. What do you guys think about that? Yeah, I think if that was in fact Drew Brees' last game, that was kind of a disappointing and sour note to go out on. He had three interceptions. Um, yeah, he just... I don't know what happened. He just didn't look that good. I mean, you look back at his career in in full, and he's had a heck of a career, but that last game is just not what I want to be remembered for. So. Yeah, I agree. And you look at the year for Breeze as a whole. You know, he fractured those ribs early uh, in the season. Um, that team just couldn't get it going without him, really. The, the, the offense struggled, and when he came back, he just didn't look the same. Um, tough way to go out for a legend like Drew Brees. But Brady's looking good. You know, he's looking good without Belichick, yeah. you know, which yeah. is sad. Um, but their offense is looking good. The defense defense is looking good. Um, so I'm excited to see, I guess, a, a good offense for the Packers next week. Definitely. And then moving on, we've got the Browns versus the Chiefs. And the Chiefs took it 17-22. to 22. I mean, the Browns, they were coming off strong. They had just beaten the Steelers. I mean, they had the Steelers allowed the Browns to score over 40 points, which is incredible. So something definitely had to be up with the Steelers. But unfortunately, that was the end of the Browns season and the Chiefs have got it. I mean, I honestly expected the Chiefs to win it because Patrick Mahomes is still looking great. We'll see how he is this upcoming week. But I mean, he's got his possible concussion. And I mean, that's definitely going to affect him. But we'll see. What do you guys think about the Browns versus the Chiefs game? Yeah, the Browns definitely had in a lot better season than most fans were expecting. Yeah. Um, I mean, there was that controversial call where they were extending for the goal line and it was a fumble or was it a touchback? Was it a touchdown? Right. But leaving that call out of the game, they had numerous opportunities to come and take it, especially when you mentioned Mahomes went out and they just they just couldn't get past the Chiefs defense. But um, heck of a year for the Browns. I'm excited to see the Chiefs. Hopefully Mahomes is back, but that's still yet to be seen. Yeah, I agree. You said the Browns had multiple chances. You know, they... Chiefs punted a couple times in the third and fourth. Uh, Henny threw that uh, interception in the end zone. They had the chances. They were there. The Chiefs defense just, you know, they held up. And he played moderately well to keep them in the game. They were up by two touchdowns. You know, they, the Browns scored another touchdown to come back within one. But he, he kept the game going for the Chiefs. And you saw that they went off for that crucial fourth down, uh, fourth and five, I think, or third and five to get the first down that would ultimately end the game. So. They played very well. Gotta give it to the Chiefs. Definitely. They're definitely still on top of their game. They've been on it this whole season. Moving on, we've got the Ravens versus the Bills. The Ravens um, only scored three points to the Bills, 17 points. So, obviously, I mean, their offense wasn't looking good either. And, I mean, they are a team that's been known for their defense more so. But to not even score a touchdown in, like, a, <laughs> at all through the game, especially in, a, like, a playoff game, is it's just crazy. I mean, I was shocked by it i mean the bills have looked great this season what do you guys think kind of happened um with the ravens this game um i think the biggest thing was they had four sacks throughout the game the bills only had two um i mean relatively lamar jackson played a pretty decent game like he he didn't look bad mm -hmm. um but this year has definitely been completely different from what we were expecting like last year he was he was probably one of the top quarterbacks last year and he had very high expectations for this upcoming season and his play has drastically dropped. They also lost the penalty battles with uh, the Bills, so those two things will not help you. Yeah, I mean, it feels like the whole season we've been talking about how the Ravens offense hasn't looked like they were last year when they were a 14-2 and two team. I don't know, they're gonna have to figure it out in the offseason because scoring three points in a playoff game just doesn't fly. And I mean, the oh. Bills, they've absolutely turned it around. Josh Allen has played the MVP type season the whole year, oh, yeah. so. 
Uh, hats off to the Bills. <laughs> Definitely. We'll see how they play this upcoming week, too. That'll be exciting. Yeah. Um, but before we get into this upcoming week, we still had one game from this past week. We had the Rams versus the Packers. The Packers took it 32-18, to which, I mean, Aaron Rodgers has been on top of his game. He's been so consistent throughout this entire season. He's looked great. I mean, the Rams usually have a pretty good defense, but not so much this game. They let the Packers get 32 points, which is kind of unheard of for the Rams. Why do you think that is? Yeah, I mean, the Rams have looked great all season with their defense. I mean, Aaron Donald up front is an absolute monster, probably the best defensive player in the NFL. Um, but that's just how good Aaron Rodgers has been this year. Yeah. I mean, finding Devontae Adams, finding Robert Tanya, he's just finding these guys um, who are creating plays. A hats off to Aaron. He's, he's yeah. had an incredible season, probably one of his best seasons he's ever had. Um, so hopefully he can continue and make it to another Super Bowl for him. Right. Yeah, um, I was a little surprised because going into it, there was all the Jalen Ramsey, Devontae Adams hype. I mean, it definitely lived up to it. They both played well, unfortunately for the Rams. The Packers just played better. Um, the other thing is the huge difference I feel in this game is the Packers went on to score 16 points in the second quarter while the Rams only had seven. I mean, they were moving the ball decently. Cam Akers had a good touchdown run. Um, they were running the ball fine, but fine isn't it enough to be Aaron Rodgers in the Packers. Right. So. Oh, not even close. Okay, and then we've got this upcoming week. We've got exciting stuff. We've got the Buccaneers versus the Packers. I mean, as we were just saying, the Packers look a lot more consistent than the Buccaneers do. I mean, the Bucs have looked great. Obviously, they did fantastic against the Saints, but they've just been kind of inconsistent this season. It's like, are they going to do great against the Packers or are they going to struggle a little bit? And like we said, Aaron Rodgers have looked on his game, on top of it, very consistent. So I think the Packers have got this game. Yeah, I agree. And you look at the – they these, these two teams played during the season, and it was probably Aaron Rodgers' worst game of the year. Mm -hmm. Three two interceptions, one for a pick six. Um, they absolutely dominated that game, the Buccaneers. Yeah. So I'm looking to see if Aaron Rodgers wants his revenge. Okay. Um, it's going to be a battle, two QB battle, Brady, Rodgers, two of the best quarterbacks in the game right now. Whose defense will play better? Green Bay show that they haven't been playing great this year. Buccaneers came up last week, played really well. So Definitely. I mean, these are be a shootout. Yeah, I mean, these are two teams that both have great offenses when their defenses kind of struggle a little bit more. So they definitely have like the same strengths and weaknesses, which right. is going to be fun to see how they play up against each other. And I'm taking the Packers. The Packers, okay. I'm taking the Packers. Good choice. And my man Aaron Rodgers. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I have the Packers as well. Just like you guys hit on the biggest question mark is which defense is going to show up. The Bucks have struggled this season. They've had some games where they well, was it, scored only like three points or like only low 20s compared to other games where they come out and they drop 40 plus. So it's which, te which Bucks yeah. team is going to show up. I feel uh, the Packers are a little bit better, like more rounded mm -hmm. than the Bucks are. So in mm -hmm. that aspect, I, I feel like the Packers have an advantage. But we shall see. We've also got the Chiefs versus the Bills. Um, we, I mean, the Bills have looked great this season. They've definitely, we compared to their last season versus this season, and it's just phenomenal. It's a brand new team. They've looked great. But can they beat the Chiefs and Patrick Mahomes? Mahomes has looked great. They're coming off their Super Bowl win from last year. Can they win it two years in a row? I say yes. I say it also depends if Mahomes is out with his concussion or not because that's a huge disadvantage for them. But I think Mahomes is going to play, and I think that when he does play, the Chiefs have got it. Yeah, I have the Chiefs as well. Like you mentioned, the bi the biggest factor in this week's game is going to be whether or not Mahomes plays. Um, if he plays, yes, hands down, the Chiefs. If he doesn't play, I just don't know if Chad Henney will be able to run a whole game. I mean, he had sparks in this last, this last week's game where he showed that he could still throw it. He could still run and manage the game but they were already up by like two scores and it's a lot easier to do when you're already up two scores on <laughs> from the beginning so if Mahomes plays I have the Chiefs if he doesn't play we'll just have to wait and see <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah I agree I agree it's a big factor um another another two teams who played during the season Chiefs won by nine um I think it's gonna be a shootout I mean both of these high-powered offenses and adding Stephon Diggs to this offense this season, big wide out, has completely changed Josh Allen's game, turned him into an MVP quarterback. Um, but like you said, Mahomes is the big question. I mean, will he play? I'd be very surprised if he didn't. Yeah. Um, I think this is going to be the better game of the week. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> I think the Chiefs win if Mahomes plays. 
There you go. All right, we'll tune in next week so you can see if our predictions were right, and then you can also get to see our Super Bowl predictions. We'll see you then.